Kelly Smith. I'm a realtor here in Bozeman, Montana with Bozeman Real Estate Group. And in this video, I will talk about what it is like living in Bozeman in the winter. If you're tuning in on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. If on Facebook, please like our page. And if on Instagram, please share our page. In the last several years, we've seen some of the popular magazines come out with news articles about Bozeman, whether that be Forbes, Powder Magazine, Outside Magazine, Vogue even, National Geographic, and they're talking about how Bozeman is a must-see place to visit when heading out west. And also talking about the growth in Bozeman and that it's a wonderful place to move and to live. We have seen in the last few months um, a lot of people relocating from warmer states such as California and Arizona and may not be fully aware of what the winters might entail. So in this video, I hope that I can paint a better picture and give you some tips on what it's like visiting in the winter or living here in the winter. My first tip for surviving winter is to get ready for the long haul. We can see snow fly as early as October and that snow will continue to fall into the early summer months sometimes. It's pretty magical though when the snow starts to fly here and it's on the peaks of the Bridgers and the Spanish Peaks and you can see people's mindsets and attitudes change to, um, that are getting ready for winter months and recreation and they're getting excited, especially little kids, they get their snow gear on and they're outside building snowmen the first sight of snow. So it's important to keep that positive mindset and the excitement throughout the long months ahead. And, um, just keep in mind that we do see snow fly pretty late into the spring and early summer sometimes. Tip number two, invest in a good shovel. Or shovels, depending on your driveway and the size of it, a snow plow or even a snow blower is going to be a great investment because I guarantee you'll be using that um, for several months. And the city does require for sidewalks to be shoveled within 24 hours of snowfall, um, just because snow flies people don't stop running or walking their dogs or kids walking to school. So it's important to keep those sidewalks safe for everybody. Tip number three, learn how to drive in winter conditions. A four wheel drive, all wheel drive, and even snow tires can make that transition a little easier. And it really does take some time and practice getting used to driving on snow and ice. And it is important that you do take the time um, to get comfortable, to keep yourself safe and others. And make sure that your car is scraped off of any snow and ice so you can see out all your windows um, to, to be safe. And people do drive slower when it snows. So take your time. Don't be in a rush. Be patient. Keep some extra space between you and the cars in front of you. Tip number four, update your winter wardrobe. Um, you will be increasing your um, winter gear supply, obviously. So this means... Uh, winter coats and snow pants and long johns, wool socks, hats, gloves, mittens, scarves, gaiters, um, boots. And it's important to, to really invest in that high quality stuff that lasts and that does keep you warm and dry. And if you don't want to break the bank, Bozeman has a couple of places that has secondhand stuff. So Recoacher and Second Wind Sports as well. It's important to have that quality stuff so that you can enjoy the winters here and be warm and enjoy all the recreation that there is in Bozeman. Tip number five, embrace it. Montana winters can be long and they can be brutal, but they're also really special too. And that's why a lot of people are drawn to this area, especially for those outdoor enthusiasts uh, the winter activities are endless and even if you're not a skier you can hike and ice skate or ice go ice fishing um, and just explore different opportunities in the snow it doesn't have to be skiing and even indoor activities there's a long list to enjoy as well during our long months of winter the museum of the rockies uh, the hot springs going to a basketball game or volleyball game at Montana State University, just to name a few. So if you aren't in love with the snow, there's still things to enjoy throughout the winter. 